I got the greenhouse open and look! Look at all these happy little baby plants! Now there's still their seed leaves. Um, none of them have any of the true leaves yet, but I'm so excited for when those pop up. But for now, just to see them coming out of the ground and establishing their roots, I'm so excited. They look so good. Um, also, I know what you're going to say, the cucumbers have to be thinned, but I'm gonna show you how I do that without um, just pulling them out of the ground and leaving them lie. I'm going to try and save as many plants as I can and show you what I do. But isn't this so exciting? There's my rainbow peppers. No strawberries yet. No tomatoes yet. These are rainbow peppers as well. Here I have my cucumber plants. I have four seeds that have sprouted and now I have to take them and I'm going to separate them into their own pods. Now this obviously depends on how you start your plants. If you, if you directly sow them, uh, you obviously will have to thin by just picking your plants out. But if you start them this way, I find you can get the best out of your seeds. So I have four containers ready to go and I have made little impressions inside of them. And now here comes kind of the risky part and the scary part. So what you're going to do is you're going to tip your plant out of its actual bucket and try and get some of the dirt that's been around it. But see, look at that root system, isn't that incredible? So then you're going to take it and make enough room for it, plop it in to its own container. Oh, look at this. Look at this. Isn't that incredible how much a cucumber's root system grows? Like look how big the plant is and then look at how big the root is. That's crazy. So you're gonna put them into their own plugs. They might go through a little bit of shock. So they might droop a little bit, but they will bounce back. I try to make it a nice quick process for them so that they don't go through too much shock. So we're gonna fill this up, not all the way. Try and break up some of the larger clumps of dirt just to make it a little more fine, but see? Then they have their own plugs and you can save the, all the plants, all your seeds. Um, now for each one, I did four per container to get them started. And I know it was probably a lot, but that's okay. This, I feel like, is the best way to get the most out of your seeds, and now it depends on how you start your seeds. Like, uh, if you directly sow them, obviously you're probably gonna have to pick them out to thin them, but if you start them in containers like this, you can thin them out by simply taking them apart 
out of the dirt that they are in and putting them in their own containers. Make sure to heavily water them just to make sure that they don't go through too much shock. They know that everything is gonna be okay. This is really cool. This is my pumpkin plant and you can see the sea and where the root system goes down. Look how long that is and how those roots kind of like corkscrew. And look at how big the plant is compared to the root system. Isn't that so cool? Okay, so we're back. So. Like I showed you, I did that with my basil. I ended up putting two per plug just to thin out that batch just a little bit and everybody seems to be doing well. Put this little guy off to his own. I'm not sure how well he's going to do. It's a cucumber. Um, but yeah, gonna give him a chance. Here are my other cucumbers that are now resting in their own containers, which is awesome. Um, here are some more. Haven't done this one yet, I will. Haven't done this one yet, I will. That one's probably not gonna make it, but that's okay. And I even got some of my pumpkins done. Um, this one is just an experiment. He's not looking too great, um, but these ones are looking fantastic and I cannot wait. So I would really like to thank you guys for joining me on the one week garden update. I'm really excited to see where all of this goes. There's going to be so much work to be done. I'm hoping to have them planted or at least start planting them by Mother's Day and Victoria Day, kind of between there. We'll just see what happens. I wanna thank you guys for joining me I hope you're doing well wherever you are and I'll catch you in the next video. Bye guys.